Hello friends, welcome back to All Unknown Law. Today I'm going to talk about conduction aphasia. Okay, conduction aphasia. I'm going to talk briefly and this is for USMLE Pearl. Okay, so I'm going to talk up briefly. What, where is the legion? Remember. The legion over here is if this is a frontal lobe and this is a brain, okay, okay, and this if this is a Broca's area and this is what you call Wernicke's area, Broadman area and Broca's area 44, and this is 22, right? Wernicke's area, Broca's area and frontal lobe, Wernicke on uh, what you call a superior temporal gyrus, right? There is a connecting fiber over here. You can see I'm connecting it, and if there's any legion over here legion over here then it will produce what you call conduction aphasia remember conduction aphasia okay right let's see what happens if this is involved okay so remember this is the known as arcuate fasciculus that fibers okay it's called as arcuate or sometimes it's legion in the parietal lobe or Okay, arcuate okay, fasciculus. Okay, so let's see what happens if there is any lesion in this. The words over here, if there is any lesion in the uh, what you call in the in these fibers, words comprehended correctly. Okay, but remember, but cannot be passed on for speech or writing remember this is really very important talking point i'm talking about words are comprehensive comprehended compre comprehended okay correctly they are comprehended correctly but cannot be passed on for speech or writing cannot be passed on for speech Are writing okay got it and the other feature of this conduction aphasia is they will have a trouble repeating statements you can see trouble repeating statements or words or a sentence is uh, uh, very common in Wernicke's area and uh, Broca's involvement or conduction aphasia or a fasciculus or the fibers involved in the connecting Broca's in the Wernicke area so Trouble repeating statement is uh, what you call in USML examination is no way important because this is very common in all of them so it will it won't help you to differentiate it from whether it's a broca or Nikkei or a fibers connecting both the uh, centers right so the important point over here is in conduction aphasia is the words are comprehended correctly but remember cannot be passed on for speech or writing okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care.